Hi everyone. As you can see, I'm doing a 12 by 12. Um, oops, I got glass all over this, so it's a, it's really a thick uh, cradled board. Okay. And so what I've done is I've gone in with my hot glue gun and put out these lines, and then went over it with some liquid gold leaf and. Oops, I forgot to finish that one. Well, let me see if I can do that real quick while I'm talking to you. Okay, I got two over here I didn't quite finish. So I'm going to go in here with the liquid gold leaf and finish these two here on this end, on this side. And it doesn't matter if I go into one of the other colors or something because I haven't put the color down yet. And it, you know, it's not going to bother it when I put it down. Uh, a little bit of little string there from the hot glue that I didn't get. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing this evening. I have some uh, stone coat quick coat. So, of course, I have to work kind of quick with that. And I'll just be doing a little bit at a time because of that. Okay. There we go. Well, touch up. Now that I'm looking at it from this side. So I was trying to figure out a way I was going to do a live show, y'all, because um, I just have my phone. I don't have cameras. And was informed that I can't even do a live show with my phone anymore because, on YouTube, because um, of something that somebody did or something. And unless I have a thousand subscribers, I'm like so far away from that. But uh, yeah, I, I really got something going on in my life. I need to sell art. <laughs> so, um... I don't know where I'm going to go with that, but, you know, more will be revealed on that, I guess. So, the colors that I have, I have some different golds over here, okay? I got a few different golds, because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use on my golds yet. And then I have, in my white over here, I have some Suncatcher White by Lares, and some white satin by the rest and then um, <clears throat> the gold that I'm using is 007 right now and some Mayron gold together the black I'm using right now is um, primary element uh, color art black emerald by primary element um, color art is who it's by but um so I'm going to try it. I haven't never tried it. I've had it over there for quite a while, and I've just never tried it. You know, it's crazy. I'll put stuff in my bin and forget all about it. So, um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing this evening. So hopefully we make something magical and beautiful. I do have the, tie the tapes, the sides taped off. It's set for about this much <laughs> on the around the top here edge because I'm going to probably do that in gold uh, like a liquid leaf gold or something I'm not sure and the rest of it I'll be probably either painting black or leaving uh, natural I'm not sure about that either but I'm thinking it'll probably go black so all right let me get this other part of this in and go ahead and stir this up So right now what I'm focusing on doing mostly is um, I'm going to I'm going to be putting some clear over this. Let's see if I can get you back in. There we go. 
yeah I'm gonna be putting some clear over that also I have some um, some black onyx uh, glitter that I'm gonna be using and some gold glitter that I'm gonna be using and um, so you know we'll see how all this turns out in a little bit I didn't want to put too much uh, stones and stuff in this one I um, just like I said I just wanted to basically do that glass and then um, the rest of it be in glitter and colors and it's just going to be gold, black, and um, white. So, something simple and hopefully elegant, sexy, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me, pretty. Very, very pretty, hopefully. Yeah, but I like to do this kind of stuff here. I like to do these different patterns like this. Um, it's not really a geode, but you know, kind of geode style. And I like using that uh, hot glue gun and making my barriers. I have yet to get any of the uh, sculpt, the um, epoxy sculpt, or sculpt epoxy, epoxy sculpt, y'all. I can't talk tonight. Anyways, I have yet to get any of that, so I, I don't know how that would work for me. Um, seems to work well for some other people that's got it and so I look forward to getting it someday. I do have something I want to try. I don't know. It, it's not going to go on this piece. But it'll go on my next piece. I got some res rock y'all from uh, La Res from Laura Brown Usher on Facebook. Go to Laura's Art Corner. You'll see it in there. I'll have her link down on the bottom of this. If I can get this uploaded I've got like three videos I couldn't get uploaded so far, so I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and try to make another one anyway, and because I felt like arting, and I like to try to, you know, document all my stuff now, at least share it with y'all so you have a chance to see what I'm doing, and if you like what I'm doing, of course, everything that I do is for sale, so don't forget that. There's always that. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Now, with this clear I just want to put a little bit of um, gold I'm just putting a little bit of the gold um, glitter in it is what I'm doing with the clear Okay, well, I don't know what happened to my little stick on that one, but well, here's this one. Yeah, but I wanted to do some lives so bad so I can try to do an auction for, you know, my my work so that um, I can get some funds to do what I absolutely have to try to do this next couple of months coming up. It's going to be a big, big change. And, uh, yeah, I'm not... Um, part of me is looking forward to it, but, you know, <laughs> um, the reasons I have to do it and everything and and uh, the initial move itself is always hard. So I'm going to have to leave a lot of stuff behind uh, due to funds and life. Just not having it, you know. then that should do it right there and it's going over okay cool so I'm gonna mix up this black and try to go in here with the black and see what this is like because I also have some midnight black from uh, Larez so I don't know how good this stuff here is. I, I wanted a really dark black. Um, it don't look like it's going to be real dark, dark, but we'll see. I can always go in and make another, you know, do another layer, of course.
Uh -oh, let me see what this black here is going to be like. And if I don't care for it, I'll put some, uh, I'll add something to it. It might just be all right. I mean, I know it's good. I just don't know. You know, I figure it's good. Every product I've gotten from her is good, but I just don't know if it's the uh, color I was looking for. That, that, you know, so, wait, well, let me see here. Yeah, no, I usually push it with a stick, right? But sometimes you just got to put your hands in the paint. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to just uh, fix up some resin right here real quick. And I'll tell you what I've done. And... You can see where I'm at. Only thing I really did was I went in where I was going to put some more gold. It was right here. Instead, I went in and I put some gold glass that I could colored. And then little black rocks I had colored black with a couple of real nice rhinestones in the center. It almost looks like an eye. I really dig it. So that's what I'm doing. And then now I'm going in and I'm going to put a little bit of just the white, uh, Lorez, uh, oh, what do you call it, satin, white satin, through some of the white. And I'm going to put some gold glitter through some. And then the black I'll finish on this row here. So, stir this up real quick. Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you how this came out. I put a band of gold, liquid leaf, uh, liquid gold leaf around the edges. Came out really nice. This is just part of the wood here. So, this is uh, the complete finish of it. Hope you're able to see it good. And um, she's done and ready to go to whatever home she ends up in. So, hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for letting me share my process with you. And um, I'll talk to you all in the next video.